superheroes in football and 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 uh, you know wrestling and, and and you know TV shows. They're not thinking about sex, but they introduce it into their minds. And the social engineers, again, I've read their books, their own publications. They knew what they were doing, screwing up society and the family. They said, we've got to screw up society, break up the family, get people dependent, and move forward. And so when I see stories like this as the economy implodes, a hundred years ago, people wouldn't go in a factory even if they got fired and shoot people up. But it's advertised as what people do. And so now it's in people's minds. The more they hype this. You know, the media hype for a year wearing green hats with a red feather, you'd see 100 million people wearing green hats with red feathers. It's like if I get a puppy and I start bouncing a ball or doing catch with it, it's going to start doing catch. They, they are training the public to do this. An employee armed with an assault rifle and a handgun walked into a manufacturing plant Thursday morning and opened fire, killing at least three people and wounding five others, authorities said. Several hours later... Police were still inside. Swiss made ABB. Oh, they make nuclear reactors for the North Koreans. Donald Rumsfeld signed that deal off when Clinton was in. Going room to room in search of the gunman and additional victims. Took them hours to do that. Police Captain Sam Dotson said authorities had not confirmed whether the shooter was among the eight. He'd been an employee in the plant, they're saying. They believe the main suspect was. By the way, you've got the public schools saying we own your kids and you've got to basically keep them with them or register them with the schools. Once you start registering, then they go ahead and ban homeschooling outright. Registering and getting a license is an authorization to do something that would be illegal. Again, I want to remind you of the Associated Press. 14 years after we exposed it. Texas has destroyed baby blood taken without consent in a secret DNA database. Underseen by the settlement by a San Antonio federal court, the blood samples connect, uh, collected without parental consent must be destroyed by early next year. It's all part of a U.N. database. They don't tell you all that, though, here in the article. That's just people suing in Minnesota and Texas. Here's another one. San Antonio Express News. State to destroy blood samples. I mean, do they have a right to take your blood? Do they have a right to naked body scan your family? No, they don't. And if you say no to them, they won't be able to get away with it anymore. Continuing here, ladies and gentlemen, CNN reports government uses stimulus money to buy the naked body scanners. That's what your stimulus is. Here's another propaganda report out of Fox News. Give me a close shot of this for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Radio listeners, Google or StartPage.com, the term, can cell phones cure Alzheimer's? And then it goes into rat studies saying it cured them of their Alzheimer's. Radiation's good for your brain. This is the same government that tells you mercury's now good for your brain and that melamine that the Chinese admit is killing people is good for you in 90% of milk in the United States. In fact, we have that Chinese newscast in English about the melamine and the milk I sent you last night. Yeah, cue that up for me. I want to play that in a few minutes. Notice how they're in the Asian news still saying melamine's deadly. It killed a bunch of people last year, remember? Here they just say, no, melamine's not bad for you. Folks, they think you're the biggest idiots on earth. Look at this sickening story. London Guardian, and they report it like it's a good thing, but then every comment I read was, this is sick, this is Orwellian, this is eugenics, this is Brave New World. If you want to... First it started with people with dementia. Now they're saying anybody that wants to be in a nursing home has to have a feeding tube fitted before you get admitted with your government funding. So they can just plug you in, says you won't even have the pleasure of eating anymore, they just want to get rid of you and pump you full of morphine. Care homes forcing elderly to have feeding tubes fitted. Thousands of elderly people are being forced to have feeding tubes fitted so they can be artificially fed if they want to be admitted to a care home, a major report warns today. There's no evidence that feeding tube prolongs life and it deprives patients of the pleasure of social contact involving normal eating and drinking, says Royal College Physicians Working Group, which recommends the artificial nutrition should only be used as a last resort. No, we're going to warehouse you and go ahead and get rid of you.
Here's another sickening report, also out of The Guardian. Britain must launch GM food revolution, says chief scientist, to stop food shortages when the governments of England and the U.S. pay farmers not to grow crops. That's on record. It's saying climate change demands it. Saying the earth's warming, there'll be less food. Every major study going back for thousands of years, everybody knows when the earth warms up, you get higher yields of crops. Just, it's just, again, oh, if you're an environmentalist, you must be for GMO. See how they turn everything upside down? The government's releasing a report that's secret, so everybody gets it and goes over it, of how the airline bomber was able to get on and how they screwed up, but how they're going to give you more security and take all your rights. Don't you worry. National Security Advisor, airline bomber, report to shock the public. You know, it's kind of like uh, whenever they said uh, that, oh, Katrina was a screw-up. We'll give FEMA even more power. Body scanners increase privacy, says corporate media. Paul Watson wrote an article for PrisonPlanet.com. And it goes over how wonderful it is and how it protects your privacy. Now you don't have to be strip searched. The cameras just do it. See, imagine if they tried to videotape you while they strip search you. You would revolt. But because they do it and openly record it, and a camera does it, a scanner does it, then it's okay. Imagine if they recorded the strip searching physically, there'd be a revolt. But because they're recording it with a machine, it's okay. By the way, where's that comment by that well-known author that sent us the email about what he saw in TSA? Yeah, bring it in to me again. Thanks. I want to go over that. I had it yesterday. Um, here it is. This is a ticket came into our email, and he's got it up on his website. He said he was coming through Gatwick Airport, London, England. Comments to the TFSA, I'm a New York Times bestselling ghostwriter and editor of many fiction and nonfiction books. I edited Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, also a former Army Ranger, corporate mercenary, nine years, 211 overseas missions. One recent flight to Gatwick, I witnessed a beautiful blonde being ordered to submit to enter pat-down or full-body scan. She was the only person in line who was subjected to the treatment. I have seen this with the pat-downs. Every perv in America goes to do this. They get the power, and they, they wave them out, and they just start squeezing. Everybody's seen it. And the women get real mad, and if they get mad, they taser you and beat you to death in some cases. And then say, oh, she killed herself in handcuffs. The handcuffs got around her neck and killed her. Remember that? She opted for scan instead of being felt up. I heard officers snickering when they crowded around to monitor the woman's scan, revealing only what her husband should be privy to. I suppose as the lady's husband, I could call my attorneys in uh, Lauderdale and D.C. and file a complaint against TSA, but I've opted instead to write about it. Happy New Year, you abusive a-holes. Tell the TSA officers they're a bunch of scum. So... Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you're dog trained to be a slave. All you police officers, do you want your kids living in a country where they naked body scan them and grope women? Do you really believe all this bull you're told? Is this really what you want to be part of? I know most of the TSA people aren't perverts. You should say no. Your unions should say no. Several times, well, the last five or six times I've flown, the majority of the time, TSA in L.A., other cities in Austin, uh, Billings, Montana was nightmarish. It was like Nazi Germany. But other places, they go, Psh, Alex, I'm a fan. It happened in uh, Newark. And listen, we're getting a union soon. We don't like what's going on. We know it's stupid. It's just a job. I'm a fan of your show. Over and over again. So I don't want to just say they're all scum. But I've seen the news with a good-looking woman in the scanner, and they show the guy looking at the thing, seeing her naked image. The media doesn't point that out. But we know what they're looking at from the scans. And the guy's smiling. I mean, I, I would be so embarrassed to herd a good-looking woman in or anybody else and get off on looking at their naked body. I mean, this is perverted, man. I find it very unsexually stimulating to force things on people. The, 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 the whole enjoyment, but I guess I'm normal, is people liking it. The giving 